Hey, what's going on everybody? Got another video here for you. This one obviously not knife related. And since it's my channel, I'll put up whatever I kind of feel like putting up. And this was something that I just got today in the mail and something that I was uh, turned on to by my brother. So I'm a Hulk fan, uh, Marvel, the Incredible Hulk, always been a you know fascination for me. I uh, thought it just pretty cool character. Loved what they've done with him in uh, cartoons, films, comics, all that kind of stuff. And I've had some custom artwork of his done by a good friend of mine who's a tattoo artist and also a, a skateboard grip tape artist. He can pretty much paint anything that you want, but he specializes in doing artwork on the grip tape side of the skateboard. So he's done some custom Hulk artwork for me that I think I may have shown in a video before. I'm not sure. And then also he's done some other uh, DC work for me in regards to doing some different uh, Joker characters of the three actors that play Joker, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, and uh, Cesar Romero. So that's uh, kind of my two things I really like and you know I just think are pretty cool stories, characters, and things I've always been interested in. So anyways, my brother told me about these Diamond Select figures, and I believe, let's see here how it's labeled, Special Edition Action Figure. So... That's how they're labeled. And the toy company that actually does these, you can see it says Marvel Select on here, but it's actually by a company named Diamond Select. I believe they're out of Maryland or some someplace like that. They started back in 1999 or early 2000s. And their uh, thing with these is they licensed the characters, obviously, from Marvel. And they do these uh, very large size figures with multiple posable joints, but very high detail. And you can really see some of the, the detail work to the, the faces, obviously the musculature, um, the clothing, and then the large scale and density of these. These things weigh probably between two and three pounds. I'll give you some close-up looks on these guys. And are around 10 inches tall. Very large pieces. Some come with accessories. Um, you can have, and also these are kind of, some of these may be the re-releases, some of these might be the originals, I'm not sure which actual pieces the store had in stock and sent to me. I got all these off of, off of Amazon. Thanos. But you can see obviously here Thanos, he has the Infinity Gauntlet, and then he has the Mistress of Death second figure actually comes with him, as well as a mask for her. And this one, really, I wasn't originally gonna get, uh, never been too keen on the abomination, you know, it was kind of not the biggest interest to me, but obviously it kind of falls into the Hulk story, being he's one of his enemies. And the detail on this thing, though, was just so awesome when I received it. His face, just the, the texturing they did on it. And then he's actually, I believe, the heaviest of any of these. So just a pretty cool piece there. You can see he just comes just the figure, that's how they did it. Hulk, um, the different Hulks here, most of them have platforms. I think you can see it through there. So, kind of an asphalt looking platform, which I like. I wish they all came with that. I, I think having the platform piece works really well. Uh, the Red Hulk has the platform. This was a uh, Diamond Select Special Edition, I guess, for Disney when Disney took over Marvel and they came out with this piece only for them. So this was only sold originally, I guess, in Disney stores. He comes with a platform as well, you can see there. But then you can see this gray Hulk, uh, there's no accessory piece, just him as the figure. But the nice thing is that you can see, when I did that shot from below here, very large pieces, wide feet, you know, made to be displayed. Um, so not a big issue to stand them up on a shelving unit by themselves without a platform. And I'll just give you some quicker, closer looks on these guys. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with these pieces, especially for the price. And I had originally, uh, a while back, wanted to get into uh, figure statues as far as the, the Marvel Universe went, and mainly, obviously, Hulks, different Hulks, um, green, red, gray, and then, you know, just different versions of them. But those figures are pretty expensive. Not that I have a huge issue with, you know, putting down money on something that I'm definitely interested in. However, uh, if I did want to start another collection, I didn't want it to go too crazy again. I really just wanted these to add some uh, kind of 
pop and pizzazz to my man cave area. Uh, I have the knife cases on, on a shelving unit, but there's obviously a lot of open space and the knife cases aren't height-wise um, very filling to the eye as far as when you're, you're looking at the shelving unit. You know, it's nice when you come over and you can lift up the cases and check out the knives that way, but they aren't really displayed horizontally that well. So I thought it'd be cool to put some of these cool Hulk figures uh, spurs throughout the shelf unit and also because in you know the area that I have where my office is it's in a loft area I have uh, some custom artwork up there of Hulk, Wolverine I have some custom pieces uh, drawn about the Jokers, the three different actors that played them Cesar Romero, Heath Ledger and Jack Nicholson that a good friend of mine, an artist and tattoo artist had uh, put together for me so these would go pretty well in there it's pretty much uh Knives and superheroes. So, yeah, I know I'm a big kid, but it's what I like. It's like what I enjoy. Um, I find these pieces to be artistic, and, um, you know, I'd rather put money down on this stuff than get some weird abstract or old Renaissance art piece that just doesn't interest me. So, just want to do a quick vid on these. Uh, I got all these, like I said, on Amazon. You can pretty much find them pretty easily. Uh, they're all between 15 and 25 bucks, depending on which which ones you get. Some of them are discontinued, but there's usually a, someone that's selling them out there. I'm obviously going to take these out of the packaging and place them up because I, I know some people are like, oh, no, they're, they're more valuable in the packaging. They're not that much, guys. I mean, maybe, I don't know, 50 years from now something happens and they go up in value and I could have traded them in that point. Look, I just want to use them, display them. So I'll take them out of the packaging, put them in some cool poses, uh, spread them out throughout the, uh, the shelving display and throughout the loft area and just have some fun with them. So have any comments, thoughts, leave them. Cool. And uh, that's it. Peace.